about to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Hi guys and welcome back to another Cook With Me video So today I'm going to be making a slow cooker lamb curry from scratch I will put all the ingredients you need in the description box. I will also link to the recipe that I've based this on. I have changed it and made it my own, but I did base it on a recipe from a website. So I'll leave that link down below as well, along with all the quantities that you're going to need. This was a huge hit in our house. It's a little bit of prep to start with, but it is totally worth it. So what I'll do is I'll take you through all the ingredients and the step-by-step -step cooking process. So let's go and have a look. Right, so for the actual sauce itself, these are the ingredients you're going to need. I will put everything up on the screen as I say it, and I will also write down in the description box exactly what I've used. And like I said, I will link to the original recipe because I have definitely substituted some things that I couldn't get hold of. So I do this with pretty much every recipe. I put my own spin on it. So you are going to need some vegetable oil, some ground fenugreek, some ground cloves, bay leaves, a cinnamon stick, some dried chilli, you're going to need some cumin seeds, some coriander seeds, some fennel seeds, some garlic and ginger paste, then you're also going to need some fresh chilies, some coriander powder, this is fennel powder that I've made out of the fennel seeds, we just blitzed it up in our like Nutribullet, I've got some mild chilli powder, this is just white sugar, um, a tin of peeled plum tomatoes and some salt so like I said it does look a bit daunting but then if you're going to make a curry from scratch you do need all the spices you're also going to want two onions just chopped into small pieces so we're a family of five so I decided to use three packs of lamb which totaled 900 grams obviously you can use more or less depending on how many of you are we had enough for a good decent portion each and plenty of leftovers so to add to the 900 grams of lamb I'm using three tablespoons of plain natural yogurt and one and a half teaspoons of turmeric and this you will need to use to marinate the lamb the night before if possible if you can only do it an hour or so before then that's fine but the best results is to put this all together mix it in and pop it in the fridge with a lid on it and leave it overnight and then you just want to grab it out of the fridge about half an hour before you start making the rest of your curry first of all is I've taken my lamb out of the fridge where it has been sitting overnight this has been out of the fridge for about half an hour now just to get up to room temperature as you can see the yogurt and the turmeric has really soaked in and marinated nicely so what we're going to do is we're going to start off by making our masala for that we are going to need the vegetable oil heated up and that's the first step Right, so first thing I'm going to do is put my pan on to heat up and then we're going to get three tablespoons of vegetable oil. You can use ghee if you would rather, but I've got vegetable oil, so that's what I'm going to use. Right, now that's heated up, we are going to add in our fenugreek powder, our cloves, our bay leaf, these three are out the garden, which Oscar's picked for me this morning. Our cinnamon stick and our crushed red chilies, and we're just going to leave those on a low heat. To sizzle away. So whilst that is sizzling, we need to crush up our cumin seeds, our coriander seeds, and our fennel seeds. Now I'm going to put these all in this little bowl. So one thing I haven't got is a pestle and mortar, but I have got a Jamie Oliver cooking utensil that broke once, and this is what I use. So I'm just literally going to crush these up using the end of this. You can just use a wooden spoon, or you could actually buy the proper pestle and mortar that you need. <laughs> so we're just going to mainly crush these up. 
Right, so now that's sizzling, I'm gonna add our slightly ground coriander, fennel, and cumin seeds. I'm gonna mix those in, and then once that starts to sizzle, I'm gonna add in my chopped onions. Oh, this is starting to smell so nice. That cinnamon sticks making it smell like Christmas. I'm just going to cook those for a couple of minutes until they go nice and golden brown. Make sure you mix in all the spices. Right, so now the onions are going nicely brown. I'm going to add my garlic and ginger paste and my chilli. finely chopped the red chilies. There's two small ones and I'm just going to pop those straight in there. We're going to let that cook for a further minute. Right so that's had another minute so now we're going to add our coriander powder, our fennel powder and our chilli powder. So we've got coriander powder, we've got fennel powder, like I said, all the measurements will be listed in the description in case you've missed any of this. Chili. And I'm also going to add, I'm going to mix it in. Then I'm going to add a few tablespoons of water just to stop it from burning the spices. Heat down a little bit on that. I really wish you guys could smell this, it really does smell amazing. So we're gonna let that cook on a little bit of a lower heat for a good couple of minutes until all the oil starts to rise. You can add some more water if things do start to stick, but just not too much. So that's been cooking for another couple of minutes. As you can see, the oil is starting to rise to the top. So what I'm gonna do now is add my lamb and my chopped tomatoes and my sugar. Then I'm gonna give it a good seasoning of salt. I'm just gonna pop in my lamb. I'm gonna stir that through before I add my tomatoes and my sugar and a little bit of salt. This is going in the slow cooker, so I don't need to cook it all the way through, but I do want to cover it in the spices and try and get all the seasoning off of the pan. Right, now that's started to seal a little bit, I'm gonna add my sugar. A tin of chopped tomatoes. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Turn the heat back down. I'm going to mix all this together and then I'm going to transfer mine into my slow cooker and I'm probably going to put it on low for at least six hours. That way your flavour will really intensify and it will soak deep into the meat and the lamb will go amazingly tender. And there we go, this is now ready to transfer to the slow cooker. So there we are on low in the slow cooker and I will come back to you in about six hours where I'm going to cook some rice and serve this up. So here we are all dished up. I've just served it with some long grain basmati rice and some fresh chilies and coriander to garnish. The curry, it looks amazing. It smells really good. I've just tasted the lamb and it literally does fall apart. So this is it all dished up and ready to eat. So I hope you enjoyed that video and found it somewhat helpful. If you do decide to try this recipe, please let me know either over on our Instagram, 
which is the Folger family or down in the comments because I love hearing from you and some of you are even sending me like DMs on Instagram with pictures of the things you've made and I love all that it just makes all this seem really worthwhile so if you're not subscribed already I would love it if you would go and do so we have a whole playlist of these videos I will link that in the description box and I will see you guys in our next video this is what we waited for